Hi guys, it's Christy Blake. Um, I just wanted to get on here and it's been a long day at work and I'm just, just got back to the hotel room. I have Hawaii frizzy hair because <laughs> it's like super humid today, but I just wanted to get on here really quickly and say thank you to everyone that commented or watched today. Um, my very emotional video and um, I felt very vulnerable making it and um, I just want to say thank you for your support really I I have just had some time to reflect and reading your comments were so amazing and just um, lots of good thoughts I think next week I'll try to make another video when I'm back in town um, and talk about some of the steps that I'm going to take because um, bottom line and the reason why I wanted to get on here is that it is hard and whatever your stage whatever stage you're at in your journey um, it's hard like whether you're pre-op or post-op or um, you know sorry my hair is like out of control um, Wherever you are, it's hard, and it's gonna be hard. And I think the bottom line is, is that a lot of us just don't have a body that's naturally thin. And I think that it's just about coming to terms with that, coming to terms for me about how I think about food. And I associate food with joy and love and laughter and entertaining and friends and I think a lot of people do. Um, I don't have like negative, I don't stress eat, like I don't, um, I don't know, I, I don't have like a lot of negative things with food but I just have a lot of um, happiness with food. Um, because I am just kind of a more na like happy person and I hate to get on my videos and like have an emotional breakdown like that and I didn't even mean to it just happened and um, I think it's good to show that side that you know I'm a real person and I have the same struggles that you all have too um, and I just think the important thing is to note is that we just keep moving forward and you know I, I don't at this point have any desire to go back on keto I know many people mention that um, it's just not what I want to do um, and I'm just keep thinking like what I want to do and I'm coming up with a plan and I'll share that with you another time but um, it is always going to be a struggle a daily struggle and um, yeah I think there's some other things that can happen in my life to help me with that and it's just a lot of reflecting going on really <laughs> so I think it is everyone needs to have that point where you just sit down and you figure out okay what's gonna work what's not gonna work and if I do it for a while and then it doesn't work again I need to reevaluate what's going on in my life that's making it not work because it's not like I can't be committed to something it's that other things in my life are interfering with that commitment. I think that was a big eye opener for me today. Somebody said like, I said, oh, I just, I wanna like start a support system for the people that have had weight loss surgery. You know, we have social media and we have videos, we have conferences, but I feel like we need more support, like maybe a mentor system or something where we can call each other or text or whatever it is, something, but it's like, as much as I love all the ideas that I always have, that being one of them, and not like it's a new idea, I'm sure someone's thought of that before, but um, <clears throat> that's not simplifying my life, and that's not helping me get to, getting to remove that interference. That's just me creating more things, which is what I like to do. It's me. I'm like a busy body entrepreneur that likes to do th fun things and I, I I don't know I have too much on my plate always 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 um, and sometimes I like it and sometimes it really does come in front of the things that are most important to me like my health and my family and I have a really hard time 
like letting go of those things that I have fun doing and things that make me feel proud about me or my career or whatever it is or things that help other people like my marriage conference. I mean, there's a lot of things that I do that are for other people and I don't take that time to reflect on me and my family and what I need to do. And for me, I think it's that's like simplifying my life a little bit. So I don't know how that's ever gonna happen, but <laughs> these are my thoughts today. And I just wanted to get on here quickly and bottom line, just thank you so much for all your comments. And um, yeah, just really thank you. And um, so many people said that they're gonna be at WLSFA and I'm super excited about that. Come up to me, tell me your name and give me a hug and you know, tell me who you are. And um, I'm super, super bad with names and remembering um, people, like really, really bad. So it's not that I don't know you, it's just that I don't remember and I love you. So anyways, <laughs> come up to me please. Um, I will try not to look like this, like fuzzy face, like what's this? Could I, could I do that? Could I just, this is all my frizz from today. It's raining in Hawaii today. Yep. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm okay. I made it through my breakdown. I'm good today. <laughs> I think everyone just needs to have a breakdown once in a while. Then you can go crazy. Um, okay, I love you. Thank you so much. Talk to you later. Bye.